we're going to call the Board of Commissioners meeting of March 3rd, 2022 to order. It is 9 o'clock. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Oh, goodness. Do we have any media questions? Seems like a no. Oh, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. You're muted on the Zoom. Could you please try again? Oh, okay. Are there any media questions? This meeting is being uh, yes, recorded. Yes, there are. Um, this is James here from the Colorado Daily Sun. Okay. Um, so I just saw on in depth at NH that their Joe Biden is up to issuing some kind of long directive about nursing homes. I was wondering if you've seen that, and if so, what you think? I have not seen it. So I. So he's talking about minimum staffing requirements, reduced resident crowding, that's not an issue here, strength and skilled nursing facility. Um, if he's aware of it, but, uh, you might want to get with her about it. Okay. I'm not sure how long it would take to, for him to force us to do stuff. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it, Damon, so I, I don't think we can comment on it. Um, Dee's coming over later, so we will ask her about it. Okay, great. Do you, have you heard anything um, about it? What's going on with the annex? I saw it. I read it. Um, oh, sorry. That's okay. But, yeah, I haven't, but I, don't ha I don't have an official public comment. I mean, I can assume that the Porter do, Steer understands that you can't just read something. You have to then go do research. You have to talk to the administrator. Yeah. It's, you know, you can't have a two-second comment until you do all of the work required to understand what the mandate is, if it is in fact a mandate, and an enforceable one at that. Okay. Absolutely. I have no idea either, but it would just be a good thing to just be aware of, I think. Um, so what's going on with the um, ARPA funds? Right now, um, the ARPA funds have, the only thing that's been spent of them are the stipends for the for the county complex for all the employees that went out um, and we're doing all the um, we started we started the uh, yeah. water and sewer we started the water and sewer we've sent out I think 13 checks last week to the nonprofits and we have another eight going out this week and those will be all done um, and then we released some funds to the county attorney and the registrar so and i believe right. that that uh, mr murray is here today to ask for some funds that are going out on some of his stuff so um that's what we're doing all right do we have a lot left or, or is that or is that um is it all allocated at this point it's all allocated at this point all right great thank you thank you danny Any public input? Okay. Approval of the minutes for February 24th. Um, do you want to wait for Matthew? I think they're fine. Yeah, they look good to me. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to make a motion? I'm sure make a motion that we approve the minutes from the Carroll County Commissioner's meeting that occurred on February 24th, 2022. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, the manifest uh, for 224 was $50,620.66, and payroll was $226,998.77. Uh, Treasurer's report. I've been absent for a couple of weeks, yep. but uh, That's okay. um, we're moving forward with the um, tax anticipation note. I spoke to the bank again this week. They expect to issue the commitment letter based on those rates that I reported last week. Um, 
Other than that, it's business as usual. Things are going extremely well. Knock on wood. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, I do have a check for you for Hale's stone in my office. I guess I will have to take a second and run down to get it. Can you want me to go grab it? Yeah, it's in my, it's in my black bag, okay. and it's just says Hale's. Okay. It's in a folder. I guess well we're waiting for that. Bob, do you wanna you have something for us? That way we won't keep you. Good morning. Good morning. I have I have this and I also have uh, I also, also asked Melissa to ask you if I could have a very brief non public yep. for personnel issue. Okay. I can do that. Okay, what you got for us? So uh, ARPA funding request. Uh, back when we put the uh, requests together, I had uh, I had included uh, some floor machines and a steamer for the nursing home. Uh, very important for maintaining uh, infection control. And uh, last time we spoke about this, I was asked uh, by the commissioners to get uh, three prices on the large equipment, which I did. And. Um, I'm going to start with the small piece of equipment because uh, we actually, uh, I budgeted $3,000 and uh, uh, my housekeeping supervisor found a, uh, a piece of equipment for $759 um, that, she, that she wants. Um, so this is from $3,759, uh, better serviceability, availability of parts. Um, uh, I, I can't provide three prices because there's only one place in the country that you can buy this from. Um, but I think uh, $759 versus $3,000 for a better piece of equipment is uh, a no-brainer. No so with your permission, I would like to purchase that item. I think you have to, to, to Melissa send the, the cut sheets if you're interested in no, seeing the machine. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not important. It's just, not important. We, just in, we, we just included the Ooh, information for your information. Oh, yep, yeah. got it. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you. And uh, and the floor machines at the nursing home. Uh, we have two. One of them. Uh, one of them is so old that I can't service it anymore. Um, it's another. It's another item that we've worn out, and uh, the manufacturer doesn't support it anymore, and it's going to be disposed of. Uh, the other machine uh, is. We bought it when we moved into the nursing home. Uh, we're going to send it to the jail because they don't have one. So we're getting these two tenant machines for the nursing home. I got a price from sweepscrub.com for two uh, 10 T300 machines for $22,850 plus $1,000 shipping. Uh, I got another price from Southeastern Equipment Supply for roughly the same price, $22,840. And from the manufacturer, uh, the manufacturer is the only one that gave us a discount. The other two are trying to sell it to us at list price. I uh, have a price of $17,410.22 uh, for two machines. So that's a difference of uh, so well, over $6,000. Yeah, and that includes freight. That includes, that includes freight, shipping. yes. Okay. So with your permission, I'd like to um, Purchase the machines from tenant company from the manufacturer for seventeen thousand four hundred ten dollars and twenty two cents. Any comments? I no, think I it's think it's fine. Fine, I do too. Okay. The Don't only you? thing can I manage it? Yes. Did you do Bob um, uh, one of the sheets that we're doing for each ARPA project? It's like a couple page. Is it two pages or one page? I'm I'm not sure. He was aware that that needed to be done. I don't think so either, but we, for reporting back, when we have to report back everything we've spent on, we've been doing a uniform sheet for each yep. project. Okay. Can you do one for these three pieces? Yeah, absolutely. Like call it one yeah. project and just fill out the, the sheet? Yeah. Um, Melissa, will you get I that, get that to, to Bob? Certainly, Bonnie can answer any questions well, that you might have about it. Uh, we have to do our first reporting in April, so we'll yeah. make sure we Yeah, of course, it. I'll do it right away. Yeah, and they're just trying to keep it the same, so we have the same 
data about each yeah. project to report yeah. more. So. Of course. Okay. Thank you. I don't have any, that uh, with that. Okay. Any other motion. Motion to approve um, our director of maintenance to order the floor machines. Um, the ones directly from the manufacturer in the amount of $17,410.22 and the additional steam cleaning machine for $749. $59. Oh, I'm sorry, 59 Plus shipping. And, and any, any shipping. And any yeah. shipping. And any shipping. I'll second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Good. Thank you very I much. I support that motion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your agenda. Hey, do you want me to come back for the mm -hmm. non public? I don't know. I think we can do it right now. Okay. Madam Chair, I make a motion that we go into non public under RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, subsection A. Seconded. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Tesori? Aye. <clears throat> Commissioner McCarthy? Aye. Commissioner Platt? Aye. 912. Motion to come out of non-public and seal the minutes. Seconded. What? Nope. I have something public that I wanted to uh, <laughs> share with the commissioners. Okay. Just wait for a minute. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 It is 9:23. Back again. Okay, hey, Bob, you're back again. <laughs> um, I'm happy to announce to the commissioners that. Uh, I signed off on the Siemens project yesterday, finally. Ah, finally, so it's... Yeah. Okay. It's, oh, it's complete. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the final payment will be um, sent out as soon as we get the invoice. final payment is 55000 55, and change. Mm -hmm. um, just ran up the stairs. <laughs> oh, you did. <mentioned. laughs> we had exciting news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we're just, we're doing some debugging. In the in the in the computer system, you know, just a couple little things here and there. But for, other than that, it's done. Good. And now we move into what we call the measurement and verification process, um, where I'll be able to provide reports on energy savings, yada yada, anything that anything that comes with the uh, the three years of measurement and verification that uh, that we're going to be getting. Great. It's formal now, rather than just guesswork. We have seen some savings, though. Oh, absolutely. Already. So. Absolutely. Um, it's it, it just just my my math tells us that we're right on track with what the uh, with what Siemens promised us that we'd be saving. Good. Okay. Yep. Great. Right. Yep. Yeah, and the budget reflected accordingly. So. Thank you. All right. Something we, is that something we should inform the delegation about so they're aware. Successful conclusion. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. They ask about it a lot. So. Bob's going to be there tomorrow, so he can tell them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy and That's to. good news. Yep. They came and they delivered what they promised. And yep. Took longer, but you know there are a lot of extenuating circumstances over the last two years. So uh, just, I was patient to see it yep. through. I wanted to see it done right rather than quickly. So that was far more important. Good. I think in this case. Makes sense. Okay, now I'm done. Okay, thank you. Have a good thank day. You. you too. I'm going to go grab that bed for you. Okay. Um, Joe, you want to do hails? I know you want to get out of here, so. Yep. So I have uh, one item from Hales location. It's a check for $1,000 to Whitney Consulting Group. Um, oh, I saw it. You want to look at it? Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Okay. I was being deferential to my chair. Okay, looks like it. it's in order. Do we need to sign off on this? Do we need to initial anything? Or? Yeah, yeah, we have to initial that. Well, I think we already did. This is just a contract. She sent us a copy of it oh, yeah. for downstairs. Yeah, we've already, I think it's already just to approve the check. Huh? Yeah, just the check. Motion to approve the check for $1,000. The Whitney Consulting Whitney Group. Whitney Consulting Group. Did you want to look? On behalf of Hales location. Uh, Madam Chair, point of information. Yes. Whitney Consulting Group is is what? 
Is that assessing or what is that person? What's their function? Yes. It is it's the people that come up and do the assessments for the property, for the homes. Oh, that, uh, the valuation? The valuations, yeah. Thank you. I had to see his name. So we've done the floor machines, right? We've done the floor machines, yeah. We're up to the next one to be the bid opening. Yeah. Well, we're going to finish Joe. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Give it back to. Oh, I guess I'll. You want me to keep? I keep it now. Right? Yes. Yeah. Send it back to the police. Okay. Please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else from you, Joe? I think that that's all I have. Okay. Um, I just want to mention one other quick thing. Um, the treasurer is not required to be here uh, at the meetings. But I do that because I want to make sure that uh, we don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. And I realize that I've been remiss in the last few weeks because, unfortunately, my employment has uh, taken precedence. Um, so, in fact, and I've got to get done early because I've got to be to work today, too. So, But uh, this is a short-term thing, so hopefully uh, okay. uh, as we move forward it won't get uh, in the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll wait for Melissa. Um, I guess we could go. Do we have any new business we can talk about? New business. Yeah. We have a couple of meetings set up for uh, broadband. Okay. So, um, Carroll County Broadband Committee will be here for a meeting. Uh, next Wednesday, and um, we'll be uh, discussing the results of the, the work that they've been doing on uh, an assessment of broadband needs in the county. So there was a grant in place to, to fund that. And then the following week, the planning committee for the uh, communication, Carroll County Communications District will convene its first meeting over in the annex. Uh, we've got a lot of people coming, so this room wasn't really big enough. There's 23 members plus visitors and guests. Uh, and that will be the initial meeting to set up the uh, planning committee, which is, uh, has the, uh, it's, it's, it's the equivalent of a municipal, of a municipality, so. They have all the rights of a municipality to borrow and, and function, raise, raise revenue and spend money. So. Do you have the date yet for when um, UNH is coming? I do. It'll, that'll be the following week, I believe. Or is it the following day? <laughs> Melissa has the date. Come on. I'll, I can okay. check my emails. I'm sorry, we can ask her when she comes back. Ask, I was under the impression that she didn't have it. Really? But she might have. I don't know. Well, maybe she doesn't. I did send it to you. You did send it to me? But, but there's a lot of emails. That via email? Do you want me to look it up, Commissioner Platts? Did you send it to me? I think so. I, I think I forwarded it. Wasn't it the following week for 20? I thought it was on St. Patty's Day, the 17th. Oh, that might be it. Was it was either the 17th or the following week. Oh, St. Patty's Day. I know. That's good. We'll make it. We're going to be. Because Wednesday's the 16th. And then we would all rather be drinking green beer. I think we meet on the 17th, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so. Okay. so wait, well, you're already 17th? wearing green. I, I'm going to wear green every day in March. Oh. Well. Yes. I'll okay. look it up and get you. That's all right. Now, okay. Um, <clears throat> and let's not back up here yet. Um. Do we have any? Okay. I guess we don't have any other business then either, correct? Any other business? No. Um, 
We have some non-public stuff we yeah. need to do. I know. I didn't want to. The, okay. the, the two meetings on Broadband are open to the public. Okay. I don't know. Melissa, do you have last week? Or I don't know if Ed wants to film those. Matt threw out dates that UNH is coming. Do you have those? Yes, so uh, on St. Patrick's Day. Yep, that's what we there just did. Yep. Okay. okay. Is there so a specific time? time? Um, I'd have to look back at the email. Okay. Did you, if I might, Commissioner Platts, did you confirm with them or am I doing that? I did. Okay. They know. Okay. It's 11 30. So, so broadband? So they're coming. Was meeting, do you know if it, broadband was meeting the day before or the week before? So the Carroll County Broadband Committee is meeting on the 9th in That's this room. Next Wednesday. And then the 16th at the annex for that. Um, okay, the day before. Planning committee. Planning okay. committee. Yeah. We'll get that started. Yeah. So okay. what the planning committee will do, that, so um, I think there's 12 jurisdictions, 12 towns decided to join and, yeah. and be part of the planning committee. So the planning committee is tasked, it will be set up at that initial meeting, and then they will prepare proposed bylaws for the actual communications district. Uh, along with uh, information, they'll gather information on available technology and uh, <coughs> uh, you know, the needs, an assessment of the needs. Now, the springboard for that will be the assessment work that's already been done and will be reported on next Wednesday at the Carroll County Broadband Committee. Once the planning committee is set up, the Carroll County Broadband will probably phase out, but it, it will be a lot of the same people involved. Um, we have one bid uh, for the roller show. <coughs> would you like to open it? Yes, I would. Okay. So this is one bid. Yep. I don't think there's many people that do roller shells. And Lisa's not here. When's Lisa coming back? Next week? Yes. Okay. This bid is from Spectra Associates, Inc. For the roller shelving, a total of $8,245 for option one, which is five annex units and three single end panels. Um, and then for option two, $12,559. And I'm not sure if we need to go over the details between the two options right now. No, we we'll just turn it back to. Lisa and she'll come back with it. Yeah. Yeah. I would make another comment. Uh, so I've been talking with the folks at Lighthorse. They're very interested in talking to us about what's going on with the annex and possibly using some of that space um, for some of the work they do. So. It is convenient. It is nice that we have that room over there, that space over there, to accommodate a meeting with you know, 30 or 40 people attending mm -hmm. um, for, the, you know, for the planning committee. Because <clears throat> we could not do that in this room, could we? No. I suppose you could if the tables were out and we just had chairs in here, but it would be a lot of it would be crowded. Around. You have to open some windows. It would get crowded, right, Ed? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Madam Chair, point of information. Yes. Is there a proper internet or bandwidth over at the annex? Yes. Since you're having a broadband meeting, it would be good to have at least internet available. Yeah. All this not only is equipment available, will be over there. It's state of the art over there. It's high speed, super broadband over there. We have a good a good line coming into the annex. So. I am um, going into our, our non public. Did you guys print off um, that stuff? I did not, but. I didn't print anything. I didn't. No. For what? For the non public. I wasn't even. I don't even know what's going on. So. Um, I, I can't tell you if I printed anything because I don't know what the problem looks like. I don't print everything. Probably should have. I know. That's what I'm thinking. I could see both. <laughs> well, maybe Melissa could print them off for us. It's okay. Shall we? Um, we need to get a motion to go into non public. Non -public. I think okay, we'll make yeah. Under what subsection? Because I don't know what we're talking about. So. A and C for this one. Yeah, okay. I make motion that we go into non public under RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, subsections A and C. Uh, seconded. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Cesari? Aye. Commissioner McCarthy? Aye. Commissioner Fletch? Aye. Thank you. 938. It is 1235. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. I will await a motion to come up non public. So moved. Seal the minutes. Seal the minutes. And seal the minutes. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> okay, Excuse we have me. some business to do. We need to vote on the short term disability. Accept it. Is that this? No, that's this. Oh, it goes with this stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Move to uh, accept the proposal from Health Trust for the short term disability coverage. The cost being, what was it again? $28,000? Yeah, I think so. I don't think we have an exact figure. We don't it depends have. Depends on how many enrolls. Okay. So we, we're not going to include a cost then in that motion. For short term disability for non union employees? Non union employees. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Which one do you want to do next? We need to vote on... Is this one of them? Yes. Let's go with this first. Um, did we all agree on this one? The sick leave bank? Yes. Okay. We need well, I haven't seen all the changes. Okay. Well, um, yeah, well, let's approve it. Okay, with the with the, with yeah. the changes and we'll sign okay. it when we go downstairs because it's on the okay. printer downstairs. Okay. Is that your... It motion? is my motion, Madam Chair. So, uh, second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 What do you want to do next? The earned time policy, non-union. I move to adopt the uh, non-union earned time policy as written. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 The um, F um, FMLA. Uh, move to adopt the, the FMLA policy as written. Seconded. And for the public, that's the Family Medical Leave Act. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Move to adopt the anti-harassment and non-discrimination policy as written. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Move to adopt the reasonable accommodations policy as written. Uh, do, you know what? We haven't been noting the effective date in these policies. Oh, we can't. All, they're, they they're are all, all April 1st. They're all April 1st. They're all April 1st. Mm -hmm. So we could just add that. Okay. Second on the second. Reasonable accommodations. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oh, we've had a busy day. So I believe um, that we are going to recess. Okay. Um, the call of the chair. And the call of the chair. It is 12.
38. 